What's up everybody? My name is Jonathan Rose, owner of Active Day Trader, and in this video we're going to talk about bull market speculation. And I'm going to go through three different charts, and at the end of the video I'm going to build on those charts and share my favorite trade idea right now. So let's get to it. S&Ps. We've been volatile. I don't want a lot of lines in my chart. I want to keep things very, very simple. I have you on a weekly. I'm using thinkorswim. 100 period moving average, 200 period moving average. Keeping things extremely simple. Notice the first time we got down to the 100 period moving average, it was support. We get through, it's resistance. Trade all the way down to the 200 period moving average and then bounce. The key level to look out for, last week's high. Last week's high is going to be 2539. Once we get above last week's high of 2539, that's going to become what we call our line in the sand. Our line in the sand is just saying anything above 2539 bullish, which would also mean bearish volatility for you option traders. Anything below 2539, we would then get bearish and also bullish volatility. When the market goes down, vol goes higher. Let's look at our second chart. Next, oil, CL. Oil's gotten hit from a high of 77 all the way down to a low of 42. It has since, since rebounded. The 200 period is gonna be 52. This is gonna be a major, major level. What I wanna show you with crude, it's this. Crude on the right, S&P futures on the left. Notice when the S&Ps turned. Notice when crude turned. All markets are interconnected. That's why it's so important to look at things from a relative value standpoint. What that means, it's pair trading. We wanna trade one market against another market because S&Ps were going lower, then they turned. Oil was going lower then oil turned. Things do not move in a vacuum. It's a global economy. Everything is pushing and pulling together. Now, when the S&Ps go higher, oil doesn't always go higher. What happens though, is as the market was getting crushed, the S&Ps were getting crushed, oil was also getting crushed, and there was a tide change. So not only S&Ps changed or bottomed, oil bottomed, but then we can also look at one more chart. And this last chart is gonna be the 10-year future contract. The 10-year future contract has rallied along with the market falling, along with crude falling. Well, the market stabilized. The market's got a pretty nice little rally going on. Oil stabilized. It's got a nice little rally going on. The last one, the last one to get the memo, the 10-year future contract. Now, yeah, it's pulled back a little bit, but if this market continues to rally, if the S&Ps continue to rally, if that bull market speculation actually pays off, if there's positive news from Trump about tariffs, if there's a change in the Fed stance and the S&Ps rip higher, this 10-year is going to get annihilated, absolutely annihilated. So as long as the market rallies, as long as oil holds up, you have to then infer that this 10-year future contract will continue to sell off and probably get down to this 118.04 area. So that's the trade idea, guys. We want to be short ZN future contracts, not ZB, not the 30-year, not the 5-year, the 10-year. The 10-year is the most expensive futures contract. Thanks for watching. The final takeaway. Don't look at anything in a vacuum. Keep your head up. The primary markets are all going to be heavily influenced off one another. They're all looking for direction. You need to figure out which is that alpha male, which is driving the trade. My name is Jonathan Rose. I'm the owner of Active Day Trader. Thanks, guys.